This is a message to Robin Bullock. Mr. Robin Bullock, I saw a video from you being in Israel some months ago. And you took your little hobbit staff and you made people pay a lot of money to go with you on a trip to Israel. And you stood there on the mount, what mount was it? Carmel or something? Prophesying, putting up your little hobbit staff, saying, any rocket flying from the enemy towards Israel from now on it will explode even before it is launched. And I declare in decree in the name of Jesus and in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and... Didn't you? You know what you should do, Mr. Bullock? You should go to Israel right now. You should get on a plane and take your followers with you and go stand on that mount and proclaim some more because the Lord has not, your words didn't have the power enough or is the Lord not with you? Where are you now, Mr. Bullock? Putting on a show in America? Or are you enjoying maybe the nice weather in your pool at the moment? Well, the eyes of my father are upon you, Mr. Bullock. You wolf in sheep's clothing. You wizard. You terrible, terrible man. And if you have any dignity left in you. Oh, you should get on the first plane to Israel right now. But I don't think you will. Because right now it's very dangerous to be in Israel. Isn't it, Mr. Bullock? I'm a Dutch citizen and I'm not in my country. You know why? Because in my country, I am severely being persecuted by people from your cult, the word of faith cult, with this new apostolic reformation branch. It belongs to the same tree, because the root of it all is the word of faith doctrine of devils which you are a preacher of. And in Holland, these people made my life into a living hell already. In Holland, people from your cult tried to literally abduct me and tried to get me locked up in a mental hospital. And people with power in Holland Well, even the police was on the side of my abductors. <laughs> and they had uh, some head uh, with power within the justice system in Holland. In the part of Holland where I live, decided that there should no, not be any investigation into this abduction. Witnesses should not be heard. But when my one of my abductors went after that to the police and said that I wanted to kill her and that I was threatening my family, who is in the Word of Faith cult, they don't know it, but they are. 
then the police persecuted me. <laughs> and even in this country where I'm now, because in Holland I lost my life over this. I lost everything over this. In Holland, they say I'm a psychotic idiot addicted to alcohol and drugs. Uh, they make the most disgusting stories about me in Holland. My name was in the newspapers and on social media still even till this day. This happened in 2019 to me. And I lost everything over it. My family, children of mine. I don't see my grandchildren because they say, Ah, she's crazy. She's uh, full of problems. We don't want nothing with her. Hmm? I know the consequences of being a true disciple of Jesus Christ. I had to flee in 2019 to escape being locked up in a mental hospital. And I've been roaming the streets of Antwerpen in Belgium, fleeing for, for this fate. Without anything, I've been robbed in the streets. I've been... I know what it is to be persecuted because of the truth. <laughs> the truth of the gospel. I know the consequences of that. For real. You dare to call it persecution when people call you out for who you are. And you are a coward if you don't get on a plane right now, the first plane to Israel, and go declare some more. Because the rockets did hit targets and people are being slaughtered in Israel, Mr. Bullock. Even in the country I am in now, in Portugal, I already discovered that there was a scheme made against my life in this country to get rid of me. Because there are people that are so afraid about the things I know. And they are afraid I will speak. And then they want to get rid of you. People who live in darkness don't want the truth to be exposed. Like Jesus said, the world will hate you. Because what they do is evil. They hate Christ. And Christ lives in me and that's why they hate me. <laughs> that's the faith in this world of a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Mr. Bullock, you wolf in sheep's clothing. And I needed to say this to you. What are you going to do? Are you going on a plane? The next plane to Israel? Are you? I don't think so. And I don't think you will repent. Because wolves in sheep's clothing, they cannot repent. And Jesus will tell them the day of judgments. I never knew you. You worker of iniquity. Mr. Bullock. <laughs>